Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday, September 23rd. For the rest of the weeklies for this week, I will be doing them shortly. That would be Aries, Pisces, Cancer, and Leo. Those are up next. This is a daily energy. This is what I'm picking up on today. So that doesn't mean it hasn't happened or it's just today. This could be happening in the near future. Okay. Burdens. Somebody has some burdens. They're carrying around something that's pretty heavy. Maybe you're doing too much. You could be trying too hard. It's emotionally unfulfilling here. Somebody um, could be overwhelmed over a situation. Yeah, it's definitely not fulfilling. You know, it's like you're giving, giving yourself away your time or your love or your energy. Working very, 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 very hard on something. Too many responsibilities. Somebody here has too many responsibilities and it's overwhelming. Yeah, hard worker. We got a really hard worker in the house here. Somebody who's working really, really hard. Maybe working too hard to allow love in. There's like a lack of love. I mean, there's a lack of emotional contentment and emotional support. Maybe somebody's, their job or their home or their finances is top priority. And it's not allowing, you know, there's no compromise. There's no balance between the two. Whew. It could be at home. You know, there could be some home expenses or... Some family feuds going on here. Something is happening that is overwhelming and causing someone to work too hard to fix a situation. I gotta fix it. I gotta really, really be devoted and disciplined to fix this, whatever it is. somebody's restricted and it could be because of finances somebody is being held back financially that's what's going on so they're not able to feel emotionally content okay you could be overwhelmed maybe there's a big expense that you didn't think that was going to be that big or there's been a loss of money or somebody's not doing their part financially so it's causing you to work extra extra hard to make up the slack and you could be a little upset about that oh huh. somebody you know you know how you think this is definitely about money. Okay, it is about money. Somebody, you know, I think that you can you do have the ability to slow down. You do not have to do take on so much. But somebody is thinking that they need to work hard, 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 harder to come up with more money. But this is this is Maybe you've shared too much of your money, you know. Maybe you've actually spent too much money and now you got to recover it or something. Or maybe somebody's even taking advantage of you. Whatever this is, it's like you need to let go of the need to have more. And I know that's hard when, when you've, uh, what you've known is work, 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 work. But if it's making you physically ill, if it's not fulfilling you emotionally, if it's causing you depression, if it's causing you stress, 
then what's really the benefit? Just the money? Is it obsession? Is it greed? You can't take any of that with you when you die. And with the amount of stress that's being taken on, the lifespan decreases, okay? It does. Stress kills. So somebody is stressing about their finances, their money, and putting more in effort into making more, but it's causing them emotional turmoil. Okay, so for today, it feels like there's a lot of discontent and there's no emotional fulfillment in a situation that re that revol that regards money and it's causing some stress. Somebody's trying too hard to recover from a financial situation or to build their bank account and it's leaving any any other love or happiness to the side, you know, it's pushing it to the side. So, it's it's just really discontent okay let me get some more cards yeah there's some sadness here there's negativity now do you need to prove yourself to society to the neighbors to your parents to your friends to somebody or do you just want to be happy Somebody's trying to keep up with the Joneses. They're trying to build their, their financial empire. But it's making them really unhappy that what all they're doing is working, working, working. Or their job's not making them happy. And maybe it's not paying enough. Somebody's working so hard and not getting any, any emotional fulfillment from it. Not feeling any sort of happiness or growth. They're putting in a lot of effort and going nowhere. And it could be ego talking. It could be ego. Maybe somebody needs to take a step back and figure out, is this, is this what I want? Who, what am I trying to prove anyway? If this, if this is causing me more stress, causing me more burden, and making me feel dead inside, then why am I doing it? Have you stepped back to think about that? Somebody's trying to prove themselves when they really should be working on their happiness. Somebody hasn't been following their intuition in a situation. Wish fulfillment comes with, with not focusing so much on your money. Letting go of the need to have more money. That's when you will find your wish fulfillment and your happiness. But right now, somebody is working way too hard and they're not being happy. They're not finding the ultimate happiness, which is not money. And I know some of you won't agree with this, but some of you need to hear it. You can't buy love. And you can't take any of that money with you when you die. And it's all for the wrong reasons. There's addictions. There's obsessions. There's control. And there's greed. Somebody is involved in a situation. That they are staying in. Just to feed their addictions. That's it. It doesn't lead to true happiness. It doesn't. This is short-term happiness. Short-term. A 
so from what I can see, somebody needs to slow down. They need to take a break. Don't let ego come in the way of happiness. If you're putting all your time into work, burying yourself in your job, what else do you have time for? If you come home and you've had a shitty day with a bunch of shitty people, excuse my language, and they've caused you a bunch of stress and you can do nothing but grab a couple of drinks and go to bed, that's really not helping you. That's not emotionally fulfilling. Mm -mm. Somebody needs to s just work on their own happiness. And, and, you know, sometimes that means you have to let go of money to be happy. Somebody, this is the Six of Pentacles, reversed. Somebody deserves a hell of a lot more. You're not getting what you deserve. And working harder, harder, harder is killing you. So this, today's reading is about taking a step back and reevaluating your responsibilities. Reevaluating your Obsessions. Are you are you working so hard to fulfill a want or a need? Are you trying to prove yourself and it's making causing you very very causing you a lot of stress? What is it? All this stress is causing some sort of feud, even if that feud is within yourself. And many of you are staying put in this predicament where you're at just for the money because that's for ego. I'm afraid to take charge. I'm letting myself be controlled by money. Even if I'm not happy. So some of you are in a situation that is less than fulfilling. It's less than happy. It's less than content. It's causing some stress. But I'm staying for the money. You deserve happiness. I mean, what can I say? Millions of people, probably billions, I don't know, stay in a job that is too demanding, gives too many responsibilities, is overpowering just for the money. Because they know that people don't have the guts to stand up for themselves. And put themselves first. They let their ego get in the way. They got to pay the bills, right? Got to pay the bills. I got to pay the bills. But I trust and I have faith that if I do what I want to do, I'm going to succeed. And I'm succeeding. Against all odds. This one just fell out and I have to give it to you. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind. That's when I said take a step back. So that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. 
wherever you're at, is it emotionally fulfilling? That's the question. Step back and ask yourself, is it, is it healing you or is it killing you? Don't let ego and pride get in the way. You deserve to be emotionally fulfilled. And right now, somebody is not getting what they deserve. So anyway, this is what I have for today. This will not resonate with every single person because there's no way. There's no way that I could connect with every single person. Okay? Usually my readings connect with people that watch me on a regular basis. That's the way it goes. If you guys would like a private reading, you will find the information below. I also still have Instago, which I absolutely love. So you can the link is below, or you can send me an email for a private reading. Talk to you later.